In this video, I want to talk about the EQ match, and this can be found under the process menu. And what you can do with this is you can take one source, register the EQ shape that's on that audio, and go to another file and apply that EQ shape to that. So what I've got here are two audio files, each recorded with two different microphones. So this is a voice recorded with my Rode Procaster. So this is a test recording two different microphones, one being my Rode Procaster dynamic microphone. And then over here, this is another voice recorded with the Zoom H5 field recorder. So this is a test recording two different microphones, one being my Rode Procaster dynamic microphone and the other being my stereo XY capsule on my Zoom H5 field recorder. So like I mentioned, I'm using the XY stereo microphone configuration on that field recorder. As you can hear, it's quite bright compared to the Rode Procaster. I'm just going to play back this Rode Procaster again so you can hear it. So this is a test recording two different microphones. And then this is the Zoom H5. So this is a test recording two different microphones. So what I wanna do is I wanna register the EQ shape of this audio and then apply it to this audio because I find that this one's sounding a bit bright and I wanna match the two together. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to this file, just hit Command A or Control A to select all the audio, then go to Process, EQ Match, and I'm gonna hit Register EQ. So what that does is it analyzes the audio and draws out an EQ shape. Then I can go across to this file over here, select it all, and apply it. It's not gonna look like anything's happened, I'm just going to close this down, click off here to deselect it, maybe just go to the beginning over here, and I'm gonna play back. So this is a test recording two different microphones, one being my Rode Procaster dynamic microphone. Now I'm going to jump back to the Rode, I'm going to deselect everything, play it back, and hear how close these now sound. So this is a test recording two different microphones, one being my Rode Procaster dynamic microphone, and now jumping back to this audio file here, let's compare. So this is a test recording two different microphones, one being my Rode Procaster dynamic microphone. And just to hear how well this has matched the EQ, I'm gonna go back here to where I've opened up the audio file. So this is back in my history, and this is what it initially sounded like. So this is a test recording two different microphones, one being my Rode Procaster dynamic microphone. So as you can hear, very, very bright. Now I'm gonna go back to the version after I've EQ matched it. So this is a test recording two different microphones. It's a lot warmer, a lot more low end. If I go here and compare it to what was the source for registering the EQ. So this is a test recording two different microphones. They sound very, very close. So this would be a really helpful resource. For example, if you're recording a bunch of audio from different microphones and you're piecing it together in production, and when you piece it together, you hear the discrepancies between the different microphones especially if you're doing some voice or video work where you're adding some audio to it. Then what you could do is use this EQ match to pick one as a source and apply that EQ curve to the other sources.